It's the 2019 throwback meme video nobody asked for. This is the Cyberpunk 2077 Romanceable NPC tier list. Thank you, thank you, thank you, old-timey radio voice. This is Ash for the Triple S League, and we are indeed doing a tier list for romanceable characters from Cyberpunk 2077. Now, of course, this is complicated by the fact that we don't know all of the options for romanceable NPCs in the game, but if we wait until the game is out to find out, this meme is going to be even more outdated and we want to strike while the joke is still lukewarm. So, we asked the members of our awesome Discord community who they wanted to romance and why. Actually, we asked who your favorite NPCs were, but of course it turned into, here's who I want to bang, gang, with all the eloquence of a Shakespearean sonnet written by Quentin Tarantino. I am so proud of this community. Alright, so let's go through these and ruthlessly judge them in the order you submitted them. First up, no surprise here, it's Judy Alvarez! Alvarez? Alvarez? This punk cutie stole the internet's heart when she was revealed at the first Night City waifu. Er, wire. She'll pick your brains and become your literal dream girl by inserting herself into your dreams. You know what? I can't judge Judy like some common piece of meat. Not after she's given the internet such a collective heart boner. No, Judy is clearly best girl, right off the bat. And we do know she is a romance option in the game, but it's only confirmed that you can romance her if you're playing as female V, so yeah. Best girl for... for girls, I guess? Next up, we have the legendary... Uh, This psychopathic solo went full conversion after some rockets turned him into meatloaf. Look at this glorious piece of masculine blackened chrome. Who wouldn't want to spend an afternoon with the legendary Atom Smasher, the embodiment of the cyberpunk future? Full board build with the philosophy that metal is better than meat. One wonders if he saves his soft side for those in his bed. Uh, yes. You're right. Exactly one person wonders that. And that'd be you, Lady Reaver. For the rest of us, this metal golem who loves collateral damage means exactly one thing. DEATH! <laughs> I snoo snoo! As far as we know, that's not how he killed Johnny Silverhand. But that's exactly what you can expect from this full metal racket. But there's obviously too much of Smasher to fit in a single tier. He's obviously a provider, has a good stable corporate job, the man is clearly S-tier material. Moving on, apparently our community likes him big, next up is Sasquatch. Abs like The Rock, hair like Ozzy Osbourne, and she will smash you to bits with her gigantic hammer. Definitely another Death by Snoo Snoo entry, although unlike Smasher, she's not going to do it on purpose. It'll just kind of happen. Or maybe it'll be on purpose. I don't know, it's your life, do what you want. I prefer a girl who's a little more caring and tender, with a more elegant mystique. Misty appears to be just such a creature. Definite B-tier material. I know, I can hear you out there, why not A-tier? Well, mostly because it looks like that hair comes right off, like a spunky pink Commander Keen helmet. And now you'll never unsee that, you're welcome. Also, there's another reason. Come on, I'm not shallow. And that is, she's dating your homeboy Jackie Wells! So I mean, if you rate her too high on your list, that's gonna cause problems, Chumba. Of course, if Jackie ends up dying, like he does in that one cinematic trailer, then she may just need a comforting, cybernetically enhanced shoulder to cry on, am I right? Okay, next up we've got... The girl from the Style Over Substance poster? The one posing like an angsty teen in front of her mirror, like she thinks it's the cover of a punk hip-hop album? Look at that loose grip she's got on those guns. She's not gonna survive her first attempt to get rich or die trying. Or I guess she'll do the second part. This is trash tier for sure. And while we've got that open... If you're a sucker for nerds, tech savvy boys, and old man haircuts, hold on to your ovaries. Next up we've got... The Netwatch Agent! He may seem buttoned up, but his true passion is that deep, buried kind. So obvious in the casual and confident way he flips that badge open. And the dude looks mega fine without having to pump iron to prove something. You don't wear a shirt that tight unless you're proud of what the Lord gave you. 
Let's plug into Brain Dance and you can read me all the rules, officer. That was I, I was I was reading the description from our uh, Discord user Time Bean. There, those weren't my words. <clears throat> if you want to know who's more my type, well, uh, I'm a little disappointed this one wasn't submitted. Such an obvious choice. The Hello Stranger NPC. I mean, she's got everything a man could ask for. One cybernetic arm, very practical, while the other remains flesh and blood for that personal touch. Possibly hair, hidden by those shadows. Religious insignia implies a sense of commitment and devotion, while her general style says she's not above having a little fun. A car that's purely functional with a sky blue paint job that shows she's got nothing to prove. And that look. That look that says, Hey boy, hop in. I'm hungry. Let's go grab some reasonably priced fish tacos and then head back to my place to grab my textbooks. And then we'll hit up the library where you can help me study for my poli-sci exam. Oh yeah. S-tier material. Wait, what the hell is this? Terror K wrote a poem? Or a rap or something? Hang on, let me... Let me hit up my boy Game Notes. Hmm... Oh, that's too bad. Well, I could probably get Shua to do it. That guy will read anything. Action Energy, my friend. This contest is at an end. Mike, drop peace out before I've even hit send. The answer is a breeze. It's Johnny's former squeeze. If there are any doubts, I'll put your mind at ease. She's a near dead ringer or a young Kim Bay singer. No wonder she's breathtaking to our favorite singer. She's not just beauty, but brain. And she's got pretty good aim. Her programming, Her programming skills. Programming skills. We're friggin' insane. That's why I'm awestruck. My option's firmly stuck. Alt Cunningham's the type of girl I'd really like to date. Beautiful, feisty, intelligent Alt Cunningham. Classic cyberpunk lore character. Of course, she exists as a digital ghost in cyberspace, and she may or may not still be an item with Silverhand. Eh, whatever, screw that guy. A tier! Our friend Terra K also gave us his runner-up choice. The removable jaw lady! Who, uh, apparently only lost points because he was a little nervous about... Uh, the concept of her offering oral services. And then some people made hilarious jokes! Honestly, TK, I don't think you're thinking this one through. I mean, detachable parts just means... You know, she can do stuff when the rest of her is not around. I mean, come on, am I wrong? But on the other hand, I feel like you're always going to be picking up parts of her, like she'll be washing her hands in the sink and just leave them there. And then whenever you're heading out, it's like, we can't leave until I find my left ear. And you're like, damn it, woman, would you keep track of yourself? And then you're sleeping on the couch. But hey, at least she left those hands in the sink for you to borrow. Uh-oh, you know what that sound means. What, they don't know what that sound means? Uh, I've just been informed that Smasher is off the menu because he's been officially recruited into Lady Reaver's husband harem. Apparently, he's just her type, emotionally unavailable and deals a heavy hand. And her net running corpo would know just which lines of code to run to make that steely exterior of his spark. Whatever the hell that means. Look, folks, I've got no interest in crossing Lady Reaver, and you really shouldn't either. She's by far the scariest, most intimidating member of our Discord server. And if you try to steal Adam Smasher from her, she's gonna send Adam Smasher to kill you. With Snoo Snoo, probably. See, it's all cyclical. All makes sense. Uh, let's see. According to my notes here, Lady Reaver has also claimed Richard Knight, Takemura, and also strongly desires a male corpo for amorous pleasantries. So, uh, let's just help her out here. Ah, here's, here's a good one. This guy's an absolute legend. Saburu Arasaka. And while we're at it here, let's just fill out the rest of her harem. Da, 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 da. Okay, there. Alright, we better get moving if we want this video to be done before the game's out. So we'll do a few rapid fire here. Badlands Sheriff, if what you desire is an average life with an average man working an average job, you should definitely settle down with this good old boy. 
Average equals C tier. Purple haired Mox with a big old bat. Okay, yeah, she's cute. But she's got spikies everywhere. There's gonna be things sticking into places. Do you really want those things feeling you up? Plus, that's either a very small bat, or this girl is seven feet tall, not including that cotton candy on her head. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with tall women, but her hand is making that bat look small. I mean, just think about that for a second. Okay, next we got... Dum Dum? What the hell, Pollies? You call that a perfect chin and sexy lips? This guy's about three Ripper Doc visits away from being Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey. But okay, since you seem to think he's so special, I'll give him his own special tier. There. The double D tier. One D for each dumb. Oh, here's a good one. Yorinobu Arasaka, the rebellious younger son of Saburo Arasaka, sworn to expose and destroy his father's corporation. This bad boy stole the relic chip from one of his father's laboratories. Something, something, game plot happens. If I was gonna rank anybody up there with Judy Alvarez, I guess it would have to be this guy. So, best boy. For... I don't know, whoever? Alright, next we've got Claire, the bar girl who gave Jackie and V a drink. Trauma Sentry is very curious why she didn't get more attention. I'd have to theorize it's because this happened during the same gameplay reveal. Claire is definitely A-tier material, though. Sociable, has a steady job, hair looks great on max graphics settings. Definitely a keeper. Next we have... Uh... What? What am I even looking at here? Hang on. Um, bu -bu -bum. Okay. Uh, same question. What am I looking at here? So, to the person who posted this, are you talking about the devil thing, or the nun? Or... Is this some kind of... Polyamory fantasy? I mean, I, I really don't know what to say about this. Uh... B tier? They can hang out with Misty. I bet she'd be into that. But of course, we're still missing the absolute top waifu. The cream of the crop. Although sadly, this one's only been confirmed as being part of an easter egg in the game. GhostMD didn't provide a picture of who he was talking about here, but don't worry, I got you covered. I know exactly who you're referring to. A very popular character from CD Projekt Red's previous game, The Witcher 3. The devoted, brave, rock-solid, and beautiful... Trollololo the Troll! Come on, ladies. The innuendos here write themselves. He's made of rock. I don't actually know where his easter egg crops up in the game, but I can't believe you guys forgot about Siri. I mean, you know she's going to be in the game. By about 500 modders. Who have varying qualities of work, of course. Okay, this is getting long enough that I'm clearly going to have to split this into at least two parts, so we're going to call it here for now, but thank you so much for watching. Now, before you race to the comment section, I just want to let everybody know that this whole video was Sibe's idea. I'd never even seen a tier list video before I started writing this one. I don't know what the hell's going on. So, please bear that in mind as you write your scathing critiques. I hope this gave you a laugh, though. Please hit that like button, leave comments down below, and subscribe for more content like this, plus also some good quality content, like our gaming news podcast and our various breakdowns and tons of Cyberpunk 2077 content. Also, join our awesome Discord community where you can meet the people who came up with a lot of the ideas that found their way into today's video and a lot of other awesome people for some fun times and great conversation. Thanks so much for watching. Part 2 will be coming soon, and I will talk to you again very soon. Okay, I got